You, Gil? You want me, you got me. Can we talk? Talk's cheap. I'm not. Where can we talk? So you don't like my office? <laughs> this is fine. <clears throat> Do you know him? Wait for me in that alley over there. Good, thanks. I can't what if I'm popular. What guy? Uh, we didn't do introductions. He gave me 20 bucks just for finding you. He's waiting in that alley around the corner from Shane's. Well, I gotta keep the customer satisfied. Mick, dude has your picture. Must uh, sleep with it under his pillow. You handing out pictures now, Mick? Pays to advertise. For me? Where's Wendy, you little bastard? Where the hell is she? What the hell do you want? You filthy little punk. Where is she? Get out of here, Mick. I'll take care of this. Anybody ask, you've never seen him. Get out of here. Don't you get into something you can't get out of, pal? Get out of my way. You got a problem with that kid? Take it up with me. Okay, come on. 
Let's see what the cops have to say about my problem. Why aren't they home finishing their homework? Maybe a little TV. Maybe a little cocoa before bed. What the hell's the matter with us? We all know what's wrong, and we don't do a damn thing about it. We ought to send them home, take them home, find them a home. Instead, we follow after them, picking up the dead bodies like a mother gathering stray socks. You got nothing better to do, Tommy, than write about a mummy? I go where the news is. Some guy killed in an alley in this part of town is hardly big news. Not a bad neighborhood, huh? All right, well, we'll give you what we got, then. Bet that's not much. It's nothing. We'll start with this. You gonna get it down? Don't worry, I'll take care of that later. Just give me the story. All right, the victim was fatally stabbed in the presence of absolutely no witnesses. Well, tourists or local? No, it didn't have pink hair, if that's what you mean. No ID. This wall left with the killer. That's a hell of a way to die, not knowing who he is. Oh, yeah, we know who he is. It's the guy who lived wherever this key opens. That's it? That's all we found on him. Keep you informed. Well, you're very generous with your information, especially when you don't have any. That's why they call it a free press, Tommy. What do you expect for free? Said his name was Bruce Mitchell. Any reason I have to hang around while you guys do your looking? Oh, thank you. You've been a big help. This guy dead or in trouble? I got to know about renting the room. Dead. Just my luck. Get a steady player and... I sure left his mark on the world. City map, out of town here. Take a look at this. There's a videotape player. He doesn't have three changes of clothing. This is a nice little collection of tapes. Boys are toys. Children of play. Innocent ink. Real class act. We're getting a lower class of homicide victim these days, Frank. What's the world coming to? This creep was into kitty porn. Slamo made these ought to be on a slab at the morgue next to him. Well, well. What? This guy liked his movies. He also liked a little bit of the real thing. This way. Look at me. That's it. Good. All right. I want you to give me that famous smile. Let's see it. Come on. Don't hold back. Come on. Bring it up. That's it. Okay. Watch your lips. Put your fingers up to your mouth. Come on, you're hot, you're hot. Under the neck, that's it. All right, good. Let's see the smile. Come on, I want to see the tongue. I want to see your tongue, that's it, good. Beautiful, you're ready, you're ready. Okay, that's a cut. You're beautiful, Wendy. Hey, hey. I call the shots around here. You put your robe on when I tell you to, all right? You got that? We're going right into the next scene. Mick? Mick, get over here. Day's almost over, Wendy. Take off your robe, Mick. Lie down. OK, kids, put your arm around it. That's it. OK, it's your show. Have fun. In fact, we got one less pervert in the world. Where are we going from here? Yeah, I got it. Well, we ID'd him from his fingerprints. Any previous? Mm. Army. If this hump's hobbies had anything to do with why he's dead, it could give us a way of shutting down some of this slime. Now, there's some that really make my day. Go to it. Well, we're working on it. We ran down the address the Army gave us, lived up north. Uh, we had the police there do a quick background uh, for us. No criminal record. The only thing they had on him in the courts was a divorce about six years ago. 
Quit his job a couple of months back, moved out, no forwarding address. So he came here to get killed. What do we got on him here? Well, we're still working on it. Nothing so far. His ex-wife lives in town, if that's any help. Well, go check her out. See what she knows about him. What's an ex-wife gonna know? More than a wife, old Harry Wendell. Cat food! Cheap, quality cat food! Sir, how about it? Would you like to buy some cat food? 15 cents a tier. Come on, the President of the United States feeds his cat this cat food. This has got special cat food ingredients in it. It's got chicken, tuna, uh, roast beef in it. It's got secret growth formula. Sir, how about it? Special cat food puts extra hair on your cat. Oh, I'd like to rub up against that leg. Hey, a little cat humor. Up against this for a minute. What are you guys doing here? Hey, come on, man, lighten up. I know I can't interest you in any of this, Jambo, and you probably catch your own mice, huh? Oh, looks like I just did, didn't I? Now listen, we had a DOA in tonight. He had a thing for kids. A thing for kids? Yeah. Come on, a thing for kids, and you're asking me about it? Give well, me a we break. need a name, Whitey, someone he would, you know, go to. Hey, hey, come on, O'Brien. Go to for sex for kids? Give me a break. I'm selling cat food here. You're in the wrong neighborhood, my Yo, friend. you must know somebody in that neighborhood, don't you? Come on. All right, what? I know a guy that uh, know, knows some people. Look, I don't even know if they're into this kind of traffic, man. If they are, you didn't hear it from me. We haven't okay? heard anything from you yet, Whitey. Come on. Come on, rack your brain, Whitey. All right, all right. Look, just find the action, and when you do, ask for, uh, ask for a guy named uh, Fly. Fly? Fly. Fly. That's right. what he calls himself. Thanks. Thanks, Whitey. Hey, it's on the house. Try it on some crackers. <laughs> Time to work, ladies. Let's go. What do you think? It looks a little like one. Hold up, my man. You the fly? Hey, <laughs> somebody tell you that? I also said you don't mind answering a few questions. Hey, shh. Ain't nothing I do, I mind, or I don't do it. Ask away, Mr. Badge. That uh, man was hot for kids. Hey, now you done it. Now, there are questions I answer with answers, and there are questions I answer with lies. Now, best I can do for you is a lie, my man. A lot of grief can come from a lie, fine. Well, ain't never had none, but I don't reckon I want to start. Now, so what are we talking about here? We talking Zumba, Pass City, Fly Flies, huh? No, 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 we're talking I don't forget anything I hear, and I don't remember where I heard it. Now, isn't that the funniest thing? <laughs> as long as you don't get cured, my man. Now, hit me with another round of them questions. You see this gentleman in the picture here? We have reason to believe he was cruising for young partners. Now, I help a man out. That is supposed to be the end of it. And now I've got you two coming after me. Well, no way, gents. This fly don't get his feet caught on the same sticky paper twice. What in the hell are you talking about? Newspaper reporter sent you, huh? <laughs> told me to talk to the man. Told me that was the end of it. And now I got you two coming around, flashing the same damn picture. Well, Mama Fly did not raise any dumb flies. No tricks, Fly. You got your wires crossed this time. That may be, Mr. Badge, but I don't like you anymore. And I do not like your partner with the funny memory. And I do not like Mr. Confidential Source Newspaper Fink Thomas J. Kirkwood. And you can tell him that from me. What's your emergency? Oh. What's the question? What is your connection with this guy? Well, if I, um... If I told you it's privileged? No, no, not this time, no. Well, it's old news. I haven't seen him in almost a year. You saw him tonight in a bag. Well, um, about a year ago, I, um, I did a series on children and uh, sex. You know, teenage hookers, kitty porn, that kind of thing. He was one of your sources? Oh, you read it. He came to ask me for help. The girl in the picture is his daughter. There. What do you think? I think Mr. Mitchell found his daughter. I wonder how much of this garbage he had to wade through before he found her. 
Well, let me tell you, there's a hell of a lot of it out there. I can't even imagine what it must be like. Sitting in a crummy room alone with a videotape machine, looking for hours through this stuff, looking for your own kid. I wonder what's worse, finding her or not finding her. All right, let's get someone to take a picture of this and put it out on the streets. Maybe we'll get lucky. Right. Mitchell's ex-wife, she's still living at the same address she gave on the divorce petition. All right, let's go play a call on the lady then. We've already been there. She's waiting for use in the squad room. My yeah. man. We'll do a machine, babe. Let's get it so I can phone this stuff in. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's Bruce. Who killed him? Thought maybe you could tell us. <laughs> well, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. I know how you guys think. But this time you're wrong. I finished up with that creep a long time ago. How long? Six years. With a nowhere guy, in a nowhere job, in a nowhere town. This is your daughter. Her name's Wendy. Looks a lot like me, don't you? Any comment? Should have known it'll be something like this. I should have known when he came around whining. Came around when? A couple of years ago. He said Wendy had run off. He made a big stink. I had to call the cops on him. Came barging in and said I took her. And? Did you? Hell no. He would have just come and took her back. What would be the sense in that? You didn't have custody of her? You know, I'm sick of that question. Everybody looks at me funny. They say you didn't get custody of your own kid. Like I'm some sort of a creep. We're just trying to sort it out, Mrs. Mitchell. When I left him, I left with a guy. Okay? You get the picture? Now you want to start twisting that into something? I'm going to walk. I came in here on my own. I can go out the same way. Nobody's twisting anything around, Mrs. Mitchell. I told you. We're just trying to get it straight. Yeah, well, you got it. Judge says I can't have my own kid because my lifestyle is too unstable. Be better for the child if she stays with the father. That turned out to be a right laugh, didn't it? She stays with Mr. Stability for a couple of years and then she runs off. But she didn't come back to you, isn't that what you're saying? Why would she come to me? I'm only her mother. You didn't try to help him find her? Yeah. I called the cops to get him out of my house. Wasn't gonna find her standing there yelling at me, was he? That's the last you saw him? It's the last I'll ever see him. Oh, well, at least her story checks out. Huh? Yeah, it reads like a soap. She runs off with the guy, the kid runs off by herself. Hmm. He swears she's got the girl, she swears she doesn't. What else? Domestic disturbance call. They found no evidence of the child and they removed Mr. Mitchell from the premises. And there was a missing persons report, but nothing. The kid's still listed as a runaway. Huh. Yeah. Well, Frankie, uh, uniform's got a possible ID on your movie star. The girl? Oh, the boy. Kevin, we got a hot tip on a boy. Let's go. It's just another night wonder in the city. In the city. You wonder if you will survive in the city. Something for you, Frank. Well, it's about time you guys started earning your keep. What do you got? I believe you guys. I'm stuck down here two, three nights a week trying to keep a lid on things. Your buddy here, he's a real regular. Do you know where we can find him? Try looking right over there. Hey, maybe there's hope for you yet, Nick. Coming from you, Frank. Gets me right here. Can't tell you where it gets me. Real dumb. 
Should you go on down to Come on, every single one of you. Now let's go, let's go. Ron! What the hell do you want? The cops spotted me there. They're after me. And you come here? I told you, Mick! Cut it out! Johns, you were involved in a homicide here, kid. Damn homicide. You see that face? What if I have? You're gonna talk to me about it. That is why. It's all I know. All right, did he find this? Come on! He, he showed me Mick's picture. He asked me to set something up. I gave the message to Mick. He may have gone to meet the guy. I... Honest to God, that's all I know. You want to go to the movies? I don't owe you no more favors after this, Tommy. Well, well, we'll call it even. Not that I wouldn't consider helping you anyway, being the outstanding citizen that I am. But these guys, they use kids. They give pornography a bad name, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, this is a picture of the girl. Have you seen her? I told you I'm not into that sleaze. I'm into freedom of the individual. The truth. The truthful depiction of mature acts between consenting adults. W we lose that? H how are we different from the Russians? Her name is Wendy Mitchell. Have you heard of her? These kind of movies I only heard of, and this Mitchell kid I never heard of. Well, those movies that you heard of, those are the movies that we want to buy. Can you set us up with the people who have them? For you, Tommy. Only for you. Good. So what do we do now? You go to Vavoom Video. Vavoom Video. And you tell them you're looking for the children's section. And tell them... Nero said it was okay. Nero? The Roman emperor. He leaned that way. I was here a little while ago. Nero sent me? Yeah, yeah, I gave him the message. Is he here? I told you, an hour, didn't I? He'll let you know when he gets here. Just stay cool, will you? Cool. I'm, um, Mr. Smith. I'm, I'm looking for some, um, uh, uh, children's stories. Do you think maybe you could help me find them? Yeah, I think I can help you. But they're, they're, they're not actually for me. They're, they're, they're for, for a friend of mine. Then I can't help you. See, I only do business firsthand, face to face. So get out of here. Go tell your friend he's got to see me himself. Okay, 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 okay. They, they, they're, they're for me, uh, but but uh, it's it's my first time. I'm not. I, I'm I'm not really the. the, the I don't care what you are and what you're not. As long as you're not a cop. <laughs> do you um? Do you have them with you? You got the money with you? Two hundred bucks a piece. Do I uh, get to pick my own titles? Guaranteed. You gonna like them all? I know I did. Guaranteed. You're not gonna like this. I buy them and I sell them. 
but I don't make them, and I don't know anything about this girl. Unless your memory improves, the only movies you're going to be seeing are Saturday Night in the Joint. You and 600 cons in a dark room. You know what they think of guys who mess up kids? I think you guys better tell me what the hell's going on here. Like, uh, what do you want from me? We want to find the girl. What the hell is so special about this damn kid? You damn well know, you piece of crap. We are going to put you away for making and selling this garbage, but you can do yourself a favor if you give us the girl. I told you I don't know this girl. Now, if you're gonna charge me with anything, I want my damn lawyer in here right now. Fine, man. Hmm. You know how I feel about violence, Frank, but I was rooting for you to get this guy. Well, that's a switch. If I didn't know you were at the window, I think I would have. Some cold drink. Yeah, I could use something. Well, two somethings. What really hurts is we'll book him, and he'll get a lawyer as sleazy as he is inside of an hour, and he'll be gone. Well, none of these people sound too terrific. Well, a girl runs away from her father and her mother. How do you figure who's at fault? You don't? A family like that, everyone gets hurt. I quit. Mm, you don't have to. You're fired. You socialize with the hell? <laughs> Elsewhere, huh? Families. Families. Why is it so damned easy for them to fall apart? It's not easy. It's not. Messy. It's painful. I didn't see her, Nikki. No tears for the husband and no tears for the kid. How do you know what she was feeling? I don't care who she is. A mother has tears for her kid. I didn't see her. For two years, she doesn't know if her daughter is alive or dead, and then she finds her in a porn movie. Then she must feel something. Worried. Ron? Where the hell is she? She's in the back. You all right? Oh, yeah. I've never been better. We got a lot of things to talk about, baby. Mm. Why don't we just go to bed? Nothing ever got clearer from talking. I said we gotta talk. You're gonna. Now, what the hell did you say to them? What did I say to them? I didn't say anything to them. Did you say anything about your damn husband? Yeah. What'd you say? I said I hadn't seen him. Anything about me? Bruce and you? Why would I... Did something happen between you and Bruce? I heard there was some guy poking his nose around, asking questions. He asked for Mick, so, uh, I went to check him out. And? And he was gonna make trouble for us. What the hell was I, uh, supposed to do? Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Hey, baby. I thought you and him were finished. You want to get messy about it, don't do it in front of me. Oh, God, Ron, you didn't have to. Yeah! <laughs> I did have to. <laughs> you better get your damn act together, lady. Figure out once and for all what side you're on. Look at me! <laughs> Unless you come up with the right answer. <laughs> 
Don't be here when I get back. you and me please baby you don't have to do that anymore wait where are you going out of here i don't know yeah it's a good idea i'll come with you we'll go somewhere start over Look, mother and daughter traveling across the country something like that we could find somewhere to go what about Ron? We don't need him. Oh. Please, baby. Please. I'm sorry. I guess I was desperate to keep him. To keep something. You're so young. You don't know what it's like to be scared of being all alone. Getting old. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Is that it? I just want you to understand, baby. I do. I really do understand. Go to hell, mummy. You busy? Do. Look, busy. Yeah, I thought you might like to go back to my place, you know. Have a drink, talk for a while. Yeah, man, I'm big on conversation. I gotta talk to you. Uh, how about I see you later, huh? Please, Nick. Sure. Hey, we were getting together. Now go home and get together with yourself. What are you doing here? I thought you might like to know about your daughter. Wendy? Have you found her? Not yet, but we do know where to start looking. That's a warrant. You can read it if you like. A lawyer, you might call him. He will tell you we can. Kevin. Take a look at this. Doesn't look like two years to me. Yeah. This week's fan rag. You haven't seen her for years, right, Mrs. Mitchell? Okay, okay, she was here. I was just afraid my ex-husband would find out and take her back. Mrs. Mitchell, your ex-husband is dead. Yep. But they could still take her away from me. Who? The judges! I was just protecting my child. 
we saw the movies. Did a hell of a job. No. No. Now, I didn't know anything about that. The first I heard was when you people told me. Lady, you've been lying to us from the beginning. I was just trying to protect my kid. Do you have any idea how hard it is to bring up a kid these days? Do you know how hard it is to get two honest words out of you? Where is she? I don't know! You know a hell of a lot more than you're telling us. Look, when I found out what she'd been doing, I got so mad, I started screaming. She ran out, and I haven't seen her since then. That's what I was so upset about when you guys got here. Mrs. Mitchell, your daughter probably knows who killed her father. I don't give a damn about that. I just want my little girl back. Well, then answer our damn questions. Your little girl is in big trouble unless we find her. I don't have any idea where she is. She's gone. You don't know her. When she makes up her mind to do something, there's no stopping her. There sure the hell is, Mrs. Mitchell. It's called murder. I just hope for your sake that we get to her before the man who killed your husband does. I'm talking. He killed my father. You don't believe me, do you? Wendy. What? That was the one who told Ryder where your father was. I never thought he'd do anything like that. Wendy, I didn't know he was your father. He had my picture. He was looking for me. That's why I told Ryder. How did we end up like this, Mick? Because I ran away from my mother. Because you didn't run away from yours. It doesn't really matter a hell of a lot what we do, does it? No. Nothing seems to matter anymore. I wish we could just make everything stop. Forever? I mean, like if it would stay nighttime. And quiet. And nobody could get to us and mess everything up. What the hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, Mick. Stop it, Wendy. There's no place for us down there. Sure there is. My father's dead. I can't live with my mother anymore. Nobody would even care. I'm doing this off my roof. It's the only thing that makes sense, Mick. I can't get the smell of those men off me. I can feel them touching me. And my mother's saying it's okay. What am I gonna do? Go back to being a regular kid? Yeah, I'll go to the prom like other girls. Do you think anybody would take me? I take you. Because we sat together? That wasn't you, that wasn't me. Those are just things that people made us do. I can't do those things anymore, Mick. What have we got to look forward to? You don't have to do those things anymore. It's okay, you're gonna be happy. I'll take care of you. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. 
Nothing. We're just gonna stay up here, okay? It's gonna stay nighttime forever. Nothing's gonna hurt us. Ron, Wendy knows. The cops know I was lying about her. They're out looking for her. Now, what the hell are we going to do? What we're not going to do is go crazy. Okay. We have to find her. And where the hell could she have gotten from? I don't know. It's not as if she has friends. What about that damn stud friend of hers, uh, Mick, whatever his name is? Well, take it easy, Ron. I mean, they're only kids. Those damn kids are going to get us put away. Now, you go back to your place and wait in case she turns up there. I'm going to go find him. Ron? Ron? Baby? Baby? You wouldn't hurt her, would you? Please don't hurt her. Hey, now. Now, you know that. Hmm. You know that I wouldn't. Same as before, Gil. Where's Mick? You guys got short memories. I already told you. I don't know where he is. You're right about what you said earlier, Gil. It didn't sound very good then, though, and it doesn't sound very good now. You better start talking, kid. I already told you everything I know. You know Frank, I'm getting kind of tired of this. I think we had to take Pretty Boy downtown and see what he likes the smell of a jail cell. I bet he won't even make it to breakfast. Come on. All right. All right. Come on. All right. Come on. There's, an apart on, there's an apartment on Eastern. Eastern and front. The, the guy's got a room on the top floor. Good. Listen. Don't tell him I told you, okay? I understand. You've got a reputation in me. It's cold. It's going. Wendy, we got to figure out what we're going to do. Don't sweat it, Mick. I figured that out for you. I'm gonna take your little girlfriend away from you. No way, man. You're not taking her. We can do this any way you want to, man. No, please. I'll go with you. Just leave him out of this. You can't stick both of us, Ryder. <laughs> people who sell their own children and turn them into objects of lust and greed. They must be sick, depraved people. That's the answer, isn't it? Pour yourself another cup of coffee and turn the page. This story's got nothing to do with you or me. We look at dirty pictures sometimes, but what's that? We have nothing to do with stories like this. We're only the ones who let them happen. Dear Wendy, I'm Tom Kirkwood. I spent some time with your father. He was a good man. He loved you a lot. Yeah. Everybody loved me. Hi, 
Let's get him and his lady downtown. Look, I didn't know he killed my husband. I had nothing to do with that. Well, let the courts find out about that, yeah? Give the kids stand a chance? Who knows? Come on, friend. The mother, can you tie her to the murder? Whatever we tie her to, it won't be enough. And I feel the